Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the color control expression control, making it very easy to control the color properties such as fill and stroke on shape layers, text layers, and more, all from one simple expression control. The composition size is 1920 by 1080 pixels in 10 seconds in duration. I have this background layer, then I have a text layer, and then I have this shape layer. So I drew all of the shapes inside of the same shape layer. I drew them all with the shape tool, so I just selected different shape tools. I used an orange fill color and a yellow 15 pixel stroke, but the colors that you choose here does not really matter as you will be able to change those using the color controls. And all I did was just click and draw out a shape. Now I will add a new adjustment layer. Just right click in the layers panel, select new adjustment layer. You can also use a null object, it will do the same thing, but I'm gonna use an adjustment layer and place the color controls on the adjustment layer. With the color controls layer selected, I'll go up to the top menu, click on effect, expression controls, color control. I'll hit enter or return, and I'm gonna call this shape dash fill. I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting command D. You can also just right click and choose duplicate. And that's control D if you're on Windows. So command D, I'm gonna enter a return. I'm gonna change the fill to stroke. Then I'm gonna duplicate it, command or control D, enter a return, and I'm gonna call this text fill. And now I'm gonna add a fill color effect to the text layer so I can assign it to this color control. So I'll select the text layer. I'm gonna to come up to the top menu, click on effect, generate, fill. Now I'm gonna select the color controls. One thing I wanna do, I'm just gonna lock the effect controls by clicking on this little padlock. That's just gonna make it so I always see these color controls, even if I select another layer. And now let's connect the shape layer and the text layer with these color controls. So I'm gonna select both layers in the layers panel. I'm just gonna hold the shift key so I have the shape layer and the text layer selected. Then I'm gonna click in the search field and just start typing out color, C-O-L-O-R. That's gonna pull up the color properties for both the shape layer and the text layer. I am noticing that the stroke comes before the fill color. So I'm just gonna come up here. I'm gonna click on the stroke and just drag it above the fill. Then all I'm gonna do is just go next to each one. So here I am on the stroke for the shape layer. I'm gonna select the pick whip for the stroke color and I'm just gonna drag it up to the stroke color control. I'll go to the fill color, click on the pick whip for fill, and I'm gonna drag it to the shape fill. I will just repeat this for every one. So I'm just gonna collapse that and I'm gonna go to the text layer, go to the color property, I'll click on the pick whip and I'm just gonna drag it to the color control. And you can add as many of these color controls as you want. But if you want an easy way to control a whole bunch of colors, all you have to do is go up to the color controls. I can click on the eyedropper tool, select a new color. They're all going to update. I'll go to the fill color, click on the eyedropper tool, select my orange. They all update. Same with the text. And of course, just like any other property or effect, when you see the stopwatch, that means you can add keyframes and animate the color controls over time. That is how to use the color control expression controls in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.